Today I'm reviewing the Netgear AC1750 Smart Wi-Fi Router. Now the model I'm looking at is the R6400. Now there's another model of the AC1750 that is the R6700. And if you're wondering how these two models compare, I'll get to that as well in a minute. I'll leave links to both models right below the video in case you're looking to buy one. The Netgear AC1750 is a pretty sleek looking device with this angled spaceship-like design made of a semi-gloss black plastic. It has vent ports for cooling on either side and has three antennas on the back. Most of the connectors and buttons are also neatly hidden away on the back. It has a yellow ethernet port that connects to your internet modem, a USB 2.0 port to connect it to a printer, an on off button, and a power jack. It also has four additional wired ports in case you need to use a wired connection instead. It also has a USB 3.0 port on the front which allows you to connect a USB flash drive or even a portable hard drive to it. This hard drive or flash flash drive can then be shared and used by all the devices on your Wi-Fi network. A very useful feature. Now one thing to remember is that the R6400 is a pretty large router, measuring in at about 11 inches wide by about 7 inches tall by about 8.5 inches deep. It's definitely much larger than any entry-level Wi-Fi router, as you can see when compared to my Netgear R6120, which I reviewed a few months ago. This is something to consider if you plan to put it on a table or shelf. You can, however, wall mount the router using the slots on the bottom. The R6400's indicator lights are also neatly arranged on the front and are very easy to see. When you buy the R6400, it comes with a power adapter, an ethernet cable, and a very useful quick start guide which walks you through the installation process. To start setting it up, we need to connect it to our internet modem, unplug the power on your internet modem, and use the provided yellow ethernet cable and plug it into your internet provider's modem, and then plug the other end into the yellow port on the R6400, then plug the power adapter into your router and power on both the modem and the router. The indicator lights on the front will light up, go through a sequence, and then finally turn white. Once this happens, we can do the rest of the setup on a computer. Now before we begin, you'll need to find a sticker like this one in the packaging of the router. This sticker has the default network name and Wi-Fi password. If you can't find the sticker for some reason, the default info is also on a sticker on the bottom of the router. I'll be setting this up using my Windows PC, but the setup on a Mac, tablet, or phone are identical. I'm going to look for the network I found on my sticker, Netgear 47 in my case, in my computer's Wi-Fi settings. You can connect to either Netgear 47 or Netgear 47 5G. I'll connect to the 5G network and enter the default password on the sticker to log in. Once it connects to the network, open up a web browser and type in routerlogin.net and hit enter. A window like this opens up, which asks you to set up your admin password and two security questions. Now remember that this isn't your Wi-Fi password, but the password to log in and manage your router. Then click Next. It now displays a message that tells you you're connected to the internet and shows you your Wi-Fi passwords. Click Next and it gives you the option of downloading the ReadyShare app. I'm just going to click Next and then Next again. On the page after this, it gives you the option of updating your firmware. I highly recommend this. Click Yes to do this. Wait for the router to download the update, install it, and reboot. Once it's done doing this, type in routerlogin.net into a web browser and it gives you the option of registering your R6400 with Netgear. I highly recommend doing this. At this point, you should be able to connect to the internet. However, I recommend one extra step for security reasons. Type routerlogin.net into your web browser and enter the admin password we just created. This brings you to an interface where you can change your Wi-Fi network name and password. Click on the tile that says wireless and it brings you to a page where you can change the network name and password on both the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz networks. I recommend changing the passwords and network names on both. When done, hit apply. It'll then update this information and will suddenly lose connection to the interface. This is normal. Go back into your Wi-Fi settings and you should now find the new networks you just created. In my case, it's ReviewLamp and ReviewLamp 5G. I'm going to connect to my 5G network using my new password and wait for it to finish connecting. And that's it. You've secured your Wi-Fi router and you should now be able to connect to the internet. So how fast is the R6400 and is it faster than an entry-level Wi-Fi router? So I tested the R6400 against my R6120 using Google's default speed test app using the same exact internet connection. As you can see from the results, while the R6400 was much faster than the R6120, when it came to download speeds, the upload speeds 
weren't all that different. Nevertheless, download speeds definitely make a big difference when browsing the web or playing YouTube videos. And how does the R6400 compare to the Netgear R6700, which is almost identical to it? For starters, they're both AC1750 Wi-Fi routers and they're identical in almost every way. The only thing the R6400 has over the R6700 is an extra USB port on the back. So which one of these should you get? To be honest, both of these routers work really well, are well designed, are easy to set up, and will perform almost identically. I'd recommend just getting the least expensive one. I'll leave links to both the Netgear R6400 and the Netgear R6700 below so you can compare prices. They're both really good options and I definitely recommend them. Hope this video was useful. If it was, please hit that like button and subscribe for more reviews, unboxings, and how-to videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.